if someone is going to be a candidate for LASIK or refractive surgery like that, they need a perfectly healthy eye. And really what LASIK is doing is refocusing where someone sees. So if someone currently needs glasses or contacts and has a healthy enough eye to be a candidate for LASIK, what the procedure, what my colleagues would do is help to kind of reshape the cornea so they can see better and it basically focuses them better without needing glasses or contacts as much. Um, that's a different thing from when someone gets a cataract and a lot of times at the same time of cataract surgery, I'm trying to minimize their prescription for glasses also, but you accomplish it in a different way. So for, for what a refractive surgeon is doing is they're reshaping the cornea to get some in focus. And what I'm doing with cataract surgery is I'm taking the cataract out, lens implant in, and I'm trying to get, get it so I put the correct strength lens implant in that it minimizes their prescription afterwards. It's a, it's a different type of uh, way to accomplish similar things. Uh, at this point in time, refractive surgery is more accurate at doing than cataract surgery, but there are some new advances with uh, cataract surgery. Some are approved in the US and some are not at this point. Um, one of which is using a laser to do certain portions of cataract surgery, which is trying to make it a little bit more accurate. And a couple other things which are pretty neat on the horizon but are not quite approved by the FDA yet uh, to get it qu uh, as accurate as possible. But in general, we do a pretty nice job of minimizing the prescription for glasses afterwards.